Hot Toys 2.0s. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Or are you just indifferent to them depending on what the character is? I want to go over a couple of reasons as to why I think 2.0s are a good thing for the community. Hey everyone, Mr. Mom Collectibles, and I am back with another video. And today I want to talk about Hot Toys 2.0 figures and the reasons why I think they're actually a good thing for the community. But before we get into that, please consider dropping a like on this video. And if this is in fact your first time watching this video and first time seeing the channel, consider subscribing. I really do appreciate the support. And finally, more most importantly, Drop a comment on this video and let me know what you think about 2.0s. Do you agree with some of my points? Do you disagree? Open to conversation. I always enjoy it, but we're going to get right into it. So obviously you see two figures here right in front of me. Uh, this one is actually the one now 1.0 version of the Ben Affleck Batman from BVS. And this is the Michael Keaton DX from Batman 1989. Uh, this Michael Keaton was one of the first hot toys I actually ever purchased, used on eBay. And this Ben Affleck right here, I bought brand new when I started collecting. And um, if you guys haven't checked out the video for either one of these, I actually made two videos comparing um, these versions to the new 2.0s that are coming out. And I'll drop them in the video in the description and up above here as well. Um, this one is in immaculate condition, no flaking, nothing on it. The Batman, he's old. He's in great condition. Just there's some joint issues with him and him standing up. He really needs a base. But as I said, you know, this is more about the 2.0s. I use these two as an example because, uh, you know, we do have some versions here. Um, this one was announced when, around when the Flash movie came out. And this is the updated Batman. They're calling this, the, you know, we have a deluxe version and a, and a collector's edition. Um, but this was one that, you know, a lot of people were talking about that they were kind of surprised came out. And so this one is a welcome. They're not calling it a 2.0, but it evidently is an upgrade. And aside, I, like I said, I did a breakdown comparison video of this showing the differences in this figure and the old one. We're not going to get into that necessarily, but just the concept of it was an overall improved figure, a new body. Um, and not only that, updated paint apps, the face plates, more accurate suit also there was some inaccuracies on the old one that i'd even wasn't even aware of and also obviously the gargoyle stand um and all you know it just it was a great upgrade i think for a 2.0 i think they gave us some great stuff here and then moving over to the the ben affleck like i said this is the 2.0 that they are labeling it a 2.0 and this once again came with different body um bruce wayne you know ben affleck head sculpt updated suit wired cape diorama everything so like I said, a lot of people had you know mixed reactions to them. I think overall they were probably welcomed pretty well within the community. But I want to jump into some points that I want to make and why I think 2.0s are a great thing for you know for the community overall. And like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys think. So my first point is Hot Toys the charity or the business. So every time that a figure comes out that's a, a 2.0 or you know or something like that, people are always like, well, why did Hot Toys do this? Why do we need this? You know, th this took you know this makes no sense. The reality is. It's a business. It's not a charity. Hot Toys isn't doing this stuff for free. They're doing it because they want your money or someone's money. And if they see the opportunity to capitalize, and if that means taking something out of the vault and updating it, changing it, adding something, taking something away, new accessory, and they think they're going to make money on it, they're going to do it to make money on it. That is just what the reality is. They're going to make money on a 2.0 of this figure, and they're going to make one on this figure. There's people that have these two that are buying them again, like this guy right here. I'm buying another one of this, and I'm buying another one of this because I want the updated versions for my displays. So they're going to sell. So I think sometimes collectors forget that. Like, you know, why are they doing it? I don't understand why Hot Toys is doing that. It makes no sense. It makes business sense. I do think collectors do forget that sometimes from the business perspective that if at the end of the day they see something that's going to happen, they're going to do it. Look at video games. They remaster video games all the time, 10-year anniversary, 15-year anniversary. You know, it, that's just what the reality is. If they see something that's that was profitable at one point, that's popular also, and there's a chance to update it to make more money off of it, they're going to do it. So that is the blunt reality of it is that it's just purely 
to make money and they're going to make money on it. Otherwise, Hot Toys would not be doing it. They have the catalog to do it. They have the assortment of figures that they can do it every once in a while. And if you think about it, how many 2.0s have really come out? I mean, people act like these things come out all the time. They don't. Um, but the reality is, is that it's there to make money. They're not a charity. Their business. The next point is adding new collectors to the hobby. Um, I thought back when making this video, my first Hot Toy figure ever was a 2.0 that got me into collecting Hot Toys. It was the Iron Man Mark 43 2.0 specifically. And that's the other idea of breaking something out. There's no doubt in my mind that them making 2.0s of both of these Batman figures right there, there's going to be someone that that's going to be their very first Hot Toy they purchased. And when we get that figure, most likely they're going to have a great unboxing experience and it's going to lead them to buying more figures. So a 2.0 is just giving someone the opportunity to get something that they either missed out on. They had, you know, never had the opportunity to get it when it first came out. Or like I said, it's introducing collectors into the hobby for the first time. Someone is going online right now and seeing, wow, a Batman from BBS 1-6 scale by Hot Toys. That's great. I'm going to go buy that. Or wow, a Michael Keaton 1989 Batman figure. I'm going to go buy that. That. And that could very well be their first hot toy that they ever bought. And it might start them down a path of collecting. So, and it happened to me, like I said, the Iron Man Mark 43 2.0 was my very first hot toy I ever purchased. I had an amazing unboxing experience. It's something that I'll never forget even to this day. And I'm so grateful for that figure. It's in my collection. I have it still. I absolutely love it. Um, and that's another thing. It's just going to be adding more collectors to the hobby. So it's a very simple one, but that's also the reality is that it's up, it's adding more market share to them and gaining more uh, collectors into the hobby, most likely. The next one is updating the greatest hits. The reality is there's so many customizers and collectors out there that are taking these figures and doing stuff to them, adding them, modifying them, making them better. And you don't think Hot Toys sees that? The fact is you don't think Hot Toys knows about custom capes, people making custom wired capes. Um, the fact is when this figure here, specifically the Ben Affleck Batman has the option for the articulated cowl, Unreal Toys, if you see him on, Insta on Instagram, Unreal Toys is a uh, customizer making custom capes, cowls, sculpts and things. Two years ago, he had a created a BBS articulated cowl and also did a Ben Affleck Justice League one. So when I saw that from Hot Toys, I was like, wow, they're taking cues here. So, and he was the only person I ever saw do that. So the fact is Hot Toys probably has their eyes open of seeing what other people are doing to their figures, like the Ben Affleck. This was one of the more heavier, heavier modified figures I've seen where people were beefing it up, making it bigger, repainting it. You don't think Hot Toys sees that? I'm not saying Hot Toys gets it right, but they're definitely seeing what's going on with their figures out there in the community. And like I said, this is a very popular figure, very popular character, very popular actor. Ben Affleck is Batman. So if they have the opportunity to take this figure and upgrade it, which was a fan favorite figure, this version of him is arguably one of everyone's favorite versions of Ben Affleck as Batman. And so if they have the opportunity to take this and upgrade it, why aren't they going to do it? It's a greatest, it's, I call this a greatest hits figure. Same thing with the 89 Batman. It's a fantastic figure. Why wouldn't Hot Toys jump on that option of upgrading this, giving it a better cape? Because if you look at the photos uh, on Sideshow's page, it looks like a much better cape. So they're definitely following suit with the things that they're seeing out there from people customizing their figures. So it's a no brainer. It ties in with the first uh, bullet point I made about them being a business. Why wouldn't they upgrade their greatest hits? It, it, it makes business sense. It's so smart to do. And so uh, that's another reason. So my final topic is giving your wallet a break. What do I mean by that? Basically, whenever a new figure comes out or even like a 2.0 or something like that, a lot of collectors, some will you know jump on it right away. Others will say, I'm content with what I have. I'm passing on it. And that's not a bad thing because like at the end of the day, as the average collector doesn't buy every single hot toy that comes out. It's just not possible. So what I mean by that is when 2.0s come out, um, it gives your wallet a break if you're someone that doesn't need to buy the new version of it. Or you might sell off the old one and buy and replace it with the new one. But for those, like for example, when the Ben Affleck came out, there's definitely a lot of people that said, I'm content with the way this one looks. I'm not getting the 2.0. And in my opinion, you just save money you know, right there. Your wallet's safe and saved for the next potential announcement. Um, the other thing that kind of gets me sometimes is when they release the photos and you'll see in the comments, you know, well, you know, why did we get this? It could have taken the place of something else. What could it have taken the place of exactly? You don't know. 
the fact is hot toys already has these figures planned out ahead of time and if any you know if 2023 you know, we look back on this, and you know, this year, the biggest thing for me is the unpredictability of the schedule. So that's why I don't really take a lot of stock in that, in that, oh, you know, this Ben Affleck 2.0, you know, we could have got this instead of that. What, what could we have gotten? To date, as of filming this video, we still don't have the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 completed. We never got Andor figures. Uh, people are still arguing that Return of the Jedi 40th was a lackluster release. We didn't get a lot of stuff from that. So Hot Toys obviously has a certain schedule of stuff going on that they're releasing, and they're juggling, juggling a lot of things. So that being said, we don't know you know, what could have been, but most likely this was in the planning, you know, these 2.0s, they're not necessarily something that, you know, they think of the day before, Hey, let's announce a 2.0. There's R and D there's, there's production, there's prototyping, there's things that have to go into it months in advance. So hot toys already has the schedule laid out. They already have the releases for the most part, probably re uh, released for you know ready for 2024 and announcements for 2024. And as collectors, all I say is enjoy the ride. Um, I don't like to worry too much about in the future, you know, with pre-orders and stuff. I like to enjoy what I have at the moment in terms of figures. That's just the way that I am. And so I'm excited for stuff. Every announcement, every release, I'm, I am excited for. And uh, I'm not too worried about, you know, because we don't know what's going to happen too far down in the future. We don't know what's going to happen, what other companies are going to be coming out with stuff. So I'm taking stock of what I have, enjoying my collection in the moment. And that's all that I can do. Um, you know, that's just my mentality. So that's the way I look at it. So those are my couple points to go over. And so uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. But those are just some reasons that I came up with as to why I think 2.0s are good. Now, to be clear, there's 2.0s and there's also reissues. Reissues, I'm not a fan of for the most part because it's not offering anything more. I look at that as literally a cash grab in terms of my first point. Uh, you know, it's a business. I would prefer 2.0s over reissues because at least 2.0s are giving the collectors something different, something upgraded from the original. Um, 2.0s like the Mark V, the Iron Man, uh, you know, the War Machine Mark I, um, those are just direct Iron the Iron Man Mark 47, I believe it is. Those are just direct reissues because they saw, you know, most likely the aftermarket blowing up. Let's remake them again and, you know, not change anything. So those I'm not really a fan of. I would prefer to have 2.0s all day just because they're giving the collector something extra or something different that maybe doesn't necessarily diminish the original uh, figure. And like, for example, people wanted the, the sniper rifle, but that only comes with the original exclusive. So it, it kind of keeps the original a little bit uh, kind of tucked away with its accessories. But like I said, drop a like on this video, guys. Please consider subscribing and let me know in the comments what you think. Um, and did I miss anything? Is there any reasons why you think 2.0s are still good and I missed it? Or like I said, do you guys think that uh, they're not, not worth it at all? Let me know in the comments. But until then, this is Mr. Mom Collectibles saying take care and have a great day, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.